Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Chad. And if you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my old here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies. But goody. I'm thinking, should I leave my hair like this? Because I just got my hair done. You guys, I just uploaded the vlog and you saw I got this in PR and you wanted to see a review. You know, I got you. The craziest part is that I had it in my Sephora cart for the sale and it got here. I was like, right on time ah so this is the makeup forever hd face essentials palette as you saw i recommended this one on my sephora favorites of new makeup favorites video this is like an upgraded version because it has blush shades thing about this palette that is so beautiful you can customize everything on your face for your skin tone what you like what you don't like so anything customizable i love so much i did my skincare already you guys know i always do it first it's been about 10 minutes let's prime the skin because because you know, I love this primer. I have oily skin. This primer blurs, makes your skin hydrated, but at the same time, it helps makeup adhere to your skin. This is my second bottle and I love it so much. I'm just gonna add primer all over. You wanna let this primer dry down because not only is it kind of thick, anytime you let primer dry down, it really helps it do what it's supposed to do. Let me give you info about this and then we'll resume. The new Makeup Forever HD Face Essentials Longwear Full Face Cream Palette retail for $88. It comes in two shades, light to medium and tan to deep. This is an easy to use cream palette with multi-use shades that can be mixed to create custom foundation concealer bronzer contour blush and highlight i'm ready these shades are beautiful so these two blush shades this looks like a highlight a blush it has shimmer in it this is matte 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 highlight highlight a little bit of shimmer you have a contour shade foundation shade up here concealer and highlight shade there and basically all we need is powder i don't want to touch it it's so pretty it's so new look i want to show you it looks so freaking good okay i want to start with a small brush let's start to bronze up it's so creamy look at this oh okay this is warm i'm gonna underpaint a little bit we're gonna get some on the nose i love to get on my lid like this which is why i like to use a small brush and then we'll blend it out with the bigger brush this is just going to give us a good outline this palette is so creamy this is gonna give us a bit of a pout mm. concealer shade this one let's see add right here oh yeah this is good and this is a matte shade is it yeah oh okay i want to really work it in here next up let's do blush let's use this this is a concealer brush but i want to use this matte shade right here let's add here I just want to add and see because for sure I'm going to have to build a little more because I have a small face. I need to be careful where I am adding things. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Foundation shade. Let's see this. That's actually, it looks good. I'm going to grab this brush. Grab it. I need this smaller brush. A smaller brush will get more product in. Oh yeah. Okay. We have to trust the process. Yeah. A little bit here oh okay let's see i want to add more because when we blend it out it will sheer out a little bit okay i am a little scared to blend and let's see okay okay it's seamless one thing about this palette it is always always going to be creamy and i want it to start off slow i love this concealer look how bright that is oh, i'm gonna get a blending brush start blending right here i kind of want to add a little of the contour now that i'm seeing what we're working with there we go yeah i'm just doing a little mix of root you see how creamy that is it just freaking glides i forgot to add here you know what i've been doing lately is just adding bronzer on my entire lid like this Ooh can really get nice and precise we're gonna add i just want to add like this i go back into that concealer shade and then i'm just gonna start blending it out i'm just gonna press it in and just keep it here 
going back in to blend out the bronzer okay yeah this is exactly how i want it to look Ooh. now i'm gonna add more of the blush i was kind of tiptoeing but let me just blend it too oh yeah this is nice the foundation shade this is actually a pretty good foundation and i want to start under painting i'm just gonna tap it over all of that cream we just placed and i'm tapping so that i don't move all this work i just did i feel like underpainting works for my face because i have a small face if i get carried away i can just add the foundation over and it kind of just cleans everything up you see how everything looks so seamless oh i love this oh this looks so good but now you know because i like to do things let's go back to the blush uh, you see how you can see this right here oh, i love that i love that it's my fave it's my fave typically what i would do is just set my skin not go over with cream blush but we're already here why not i love this mix right here it's the perfect cool warm tone color I just want to add a smidge. Did I forget to blend this? I sure did. Oh, oh, this is so seamless. And add a little bit of this brightness, brightness, brightening, and just add it here. Let me go wet my sponge. I forgot to do that. I'm just gonna tap. I love blending out my concealer with the sponge, but everything else with the brush. Oh, look. Something about this, because it's so creamy yet pigmented, it blends out like a dream. Nothing looks muddy. That's always the tricky part with underpainting and adding all the colors all at once. You can look muddy really quick or blend everything out and it just looks like one color. There's no dimension. Here you see the bronzer, you see the blush, you see the highlight. You see the lids, you see the bronze. You can always go back in and add more if you want. You know me, I'm always very heavy handed. Is this not blended? Hold on. With makeup, you know, you do what you want to do, okay? You do what is going to work for you and that's just that. This is how lately I've been doing my eyeshadow too, is adding bronzer and I'm going to show you what I do. So are we ready to set? Yes. You guys, oh my God, I just forgot. I have the foundation brush. Ah, let's use it. I want to use it. I want to use it. Oh, look, it's nice and thin. Okay, so we can really get in here to clean this up. You see how it just gets nice in there? Oh, wow. This brush really grabs this product well. This is the 118. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, it cleaned it up well. We can really get in here. Wow, it's very differently shaped. You see that? It fits the face well. You know what I was looking at? I have more blushes. Let's use more blushes. Let's use this one. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this shade's a lot more pigmented and it's deeper. So yeah, it works with my skin tone better. We're just going to blend it into that bronzer. And we can go back in with our new foundation brush and just press that in. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Since we're like all in the makeup forever, you know, fam here, let's use this powder. You know how much I love it. Oh my God. Let's use the puff too. Let's use it all. Let's use it all. Let me go in with the bigger brush for the blush. You know how I get with the blush. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I love this. I could keep going and I'm gonna keep going. Why do I do this? I don't know. I do know. I just get excited. Makeup excites me. I want to go back in with the concealer kind of motion. I want to make sure I don't have any darkness peeking through. I like placing it with this brush and then blending it with the sponge. I'm just like feeling this. Let's get our powder. This is the Makeup Forever, the new one. It's an oil control powder. Yesterday, I used another powder because I'm like, wait, I've been using this powder so much where I'm like, calm it down. Okay, we have to check. I think this needs a little more blending. And I love, love, we don't have no patches. And you know, I was going back and forth, this and that, doing a lot like I typically do. Cause you know, you know how I am, you know how I am. I always like to start with my under eyes. I like to get the hard stuff out of the way first. I feel like under eyes are typically my problem child. And then I'm just gonna press, 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 set this down. Makeup Forever is one of those brands I like really trust. I will probably love most products and all products. There's only like two products that I did not love and they're no longer available. Basically everything they have right now, like available to shop at Sephora or their website, I love. 
I don't even know how I got onto their PR. It was one of those things that they just found me. And I was like, you know, it's one of those legacy brands that I'm just like in all, always in all with them. Here, let me get this. And you see how it's very creamy and it's very shiny? That's fine because it does set well. It's not super oily. It kind of looks like it, but it's more creamy than oily. You can kind of tell when something is very, very oily when it doesn't set well. You see how everything set well here? And depending how much you set, I typically set a lot because I do have oily skin. But even if you add a little bit of powder and it doesn't absorb, the powder doesn't take onto that cream product it means it's very oily it's very greasy it probably will just sit on top of your skin it's more likely you'll look asada okay and you know we try to avoid that at all costs up in here look look at this if you want to just go like this you're good to go we're ready we're ready you see how seamless everything looks there's dimension the on the face i like to add more let's do the makeup forever blush i think do they have bronzers Oh my god, why am I blanking? I'm just gonna use my MAC powder bronzer and just add a little bit. You don't have to add a lot because you already have that strong base underneath. And even when you touch your face right now with bronzer, you see how it takes so well? You don't need to add a lot, of course you can. But if you're in a rush and you're like, I got things to do, this is it. This is the blush wherever rose, one of my faves. Hold on, I'm trying to organize and talk, but maybe I should do one thing at a time and focus. What I've been doing with my eyeshadow look, and a lot of you guys have been liking it, is adding bronzer like this. You can set it down with either eyeshadow or powder. I just did powder today, because why not? I use my Makeup by Mario palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here, add it all over. You can just kind of keep this like this and call it a day, but you see how it adds a little bit of color, this versus this? Then we're gonna get like the same brush. Oh, this is the Sigma E25, one of my favorite brushes. I do have a discount code if you wanna check it out for 10% off. I'm gonna get a little bit of this and then here add a little bit of dimension, like right here at the end. You could also use your bronzer to do this. This is where the trick really comes into play. You can always grab it and then just add it here. Bronzer can be spread out everywhere. This is the trick. This BK Beauty Brush 204 is my favorite brush. I use it a lot. I'm going to get this brown shade. Outline your lash line. You don't have to be neat with it. Follow your lash line. Do it as thick or as thin as you want it. We're not doing a wing. We're just giving this part of the eye dimension. It's going to make your brown eyes pop. You could wing it out. Lately, I haven't been winging it out. I just do this messy little number. Look at the difference from eyes. This trick right here, it will get your eyes on and popping. If you really want to get intricate, get all in it, you're going to get the small brush and get right into the lash line. Get in here. You could like wing it out a little bit. This is how my eye look has been coming together. I'm going to get this brush. It doesn't have much product. I'm just going to blend this out because this looks a little harsh. But look, just, oh. it's currently at 920. Finish up. I'll be back. All right, skin is looking beautiful. This palette always makes me feel so pretty because it makes things just look so seamless. And that's what I love. Like I tell you guys, I have a small face. So a lot of times things can get overwhelming very fast and i also have a heavy hand so both of that combo it, i could look a mess really quick it is pricey it's 88 dollars. definitely get a full face out of this i want to swatch these two shades look at this highlight shade and then look at the other shimmer blush shade you see that creaminess right there this shade because these three shades i did not use and this texture here, it is so creamy. It has like a gel-like look and feel. That's what makes the formula very, very blendable. It melts into the skin very well. So it's just the perfect combo of creaminess and gel -ness in one. Should I get some of this right here? I'm just going to warm it up. I don't want to add too much because too much on dry skin can pull up. Not dry skin, on like powdered skin can just pull it up. Oh, that's pretty. You see that? I'm just doing it right at the top of my cheekies. Oh yeah, we got a highlight moment. Mm -hmm. Always nice when something could blend in on top of powder. Look, and you know it's good because it's not pulling apart the set 
part of my entire face. Makeup Forever is just one of those brands that is so good. It's very well made. It is high end. You get the high quality, high end product. You can underpaint, you can just use it for bronzer, you can just use it for blush, you can just use it for concealer, or do a full face like we did today. I'm loving this lip combo. I filled in my entire lips with Huda Beauty Warm Brown, just did a whole thing, and then I outlined very much at the end with the dark brown shade, or no, it's rich brown. This YSL lipstick in number 204. Don't my lips look pouty too? All right, Familia. Oh! Oh, wee, look. You see that highlight? Oh, look how pretty it looks. Typically, I will put it underneath everything, but I forgot. Oh, yeah. This is all good. Everything's just looking so seamless. Seamless and pigment. Ooh. Okay, see you later. I need to show you the skin in different lighting. Ooh. You see that glow? Ooh. Amelia, I'm back. I'm back. It is 8.28. I wasn't going to do an all-day wear test, but I'm like, it wouldn't be a Magdalene review if I don't do an all-day wear test. I did get some footage at around 5 o'clock to show you how the skin was looking. And to my surprise, my oils weren't really coming in. Everything literally looked well put together. Under eyes, skin, everything looks so bomb. This was like halfway through. I was just so surprised how good everything looked. Let's get close. Look, you see how nothing's breaking apart? Has it been 12 hours? 11 hours? You know what I mean. Look, I am radiant, especially in the center of my skin because I do have oily skin, but you see nothing is breaking apart. The nose, yeah, everything looks freaking amazing. And I actually do want to show you here arm swatches I got for you so you can see how it looks. You see that creamy gel texture and formula? It just lays so well. Although it's a bit on the hydrating side, it really adheres to the skin. You can see the vibrancy of all the shades. Even like the pink, the highlight shades are so so beautiful especially the highlight shade really caught my eye because look my cheek is nice and highlighted it just works so well on top of the powder so this palette is great it lasts all day long it's a one-stop shop i love it of course excluding the blush the bronzer and the powder i do have oily skin i have to powder my stuff down because look if i didn't powder i would definitely look gastada i don't look gastada i look very well put together talking about that lids tap my skin didn't get this oily probably up until like an hour ago typically i give skin and a wear test eight hours to to look good where I don't really touch up because I powder so well after the eight hour mark it's between eight to twelve hours is where things can get a little funky that's where you can see the test of time of makeup how good it's working how it's wearing how it's laying and all that look ooh 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 so good and look at my under eyes look how good they look you see no creasing no darkness peeking through you see, 12 hours later, I forgot to tell you, I forgot to do this, you know, at the in the morning time. But you get the gist, you get the gist. So this is a yes, I love it. Thank you so much for asking me to review this. Let me know your thoughts. Did you get this at the Sephora sale? Have you tried this palette before or the other one? Let me know your thoughts. I will link and tag it down below for you. And I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.